Hi, this is Steve Knight and welcome to Blackwell Global's Daily Market Update. Starting with the Euro and the pair finished the day slightly lower, despite Eurozone unemployment falling from 10.4 to 10.3 per cent. The pair's fall was largely due to the ECB's Mario Draghi who suggested that mounting downside risks would be the likely topic in March's MPC meeting. In addition, there was a general swing towards the US dollar as the market manufacturing PMI rose strongly to 51.3. Subsequently, the euro was under pressure early and closed the session down around the 1 spot 0868 level. On the news front, keep a close watch on the US ADP NFP result. Turning to the cable now, and the pair appears to have finally found a bottom around the 1 spot 3834 level and subsequently closed fractionally higher despite the broadly stronger US dollar. However, the bearish pressure isn't over for the pair as the UK construction PMI result looms and a negative result could see the bottom again become the focus. In addition, the US NFP result is likely to be key in the pair's direction and a strong result could turn the tide. Finally, moving on to the Japanese yen and the pair managed a slightly bullish day as the market started to focus on the introduction of the historically negative yielding 10-year Japanese government bonds. In addition, Japan's three biggest banks have forecast that the yen's depreciation is largely over and they expect to see the impact of an expansion in Japan's current account surplus to flow through to the currency valuations shortly. On the news front, the Bank of Japan's Kuroda is due to speak shortly and will likely have plenty of market moving insight into the currency. Well, that's all I've got for you today. This is Steve Knight with Blackwell Global. Thanks for watching.